Hey, welcome back to another Morales video. My name is Bharat and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can essentially leverage Morales APIs and nodes in order to build your applications on Pulse Chain. So let's get started. So if you're a dev who's building your applications on Pulse Chain, Morales basically provides you with all the APIs and nodes you need in order to scale your applications and get to market much faster. So as you can see right here, Pulse Chain is a next gen EVM chain with lightning fast transaction speeds and ultra low fees. And here are some reasons why you should consider building on Pulse Chain. Particularly, its EVM compatibility makes it super easy for you to port your existing applications, which are on Ethereum or any other EVM chain directly without much code modification. Its extremely low transaction fees make it a really wise choice to build your applications on because you could directly scale and build a lot of affordable user experiences using the Pulse Chain environment. Then you basically have the community driven ecosystem. Pulse Chain community is basically massive, which means that when you build your applications on Pulse Chain, you're definitely going to be able to tap into the community's tools, resources, and support that you need in order to scale your applications and the robust security that Pulse Chain basically provides due to its proof of stake consensus. So to get started building on Pulse Chain, you can just click on login and that's going to take you to your Morales dashboard. And this basically shows you all the data you need to get started. You can see your component usage, you can see your API key, you have links to our docs, tutorials, etc. And to access our docs, you can just click here and you can see it takes you to docs.morales.com and that's where our documentation basically sits. So to access the APIs, you can basically see you have the wallet, NFT, token, streams, market insights, blockchain, etc. right here. Or you can just click on EVM API and that's going to show you the whole list of API, APIs by category. So if you want to see what are the uh, chains where the EVM API is supported on, you can just click on supported chains. And as you see right here, you have Pulse Chain over here. And you can basically find the data about the network, the chain ID, the EVM chain, which you have to use for the SDK, etc. So the supported APIs on Pulse Chain are the wallet, token, entity, price, and blockchain. And I'm going to show you how you could essentially tap into these APIs in order to get any kind of data you need on Pulse Chain. So as you see right here, the wallet API provides any kind of wallet data on Pulse Chain directly accessible for you. And then you have the token API, which is basically for getting data about the ERC20 tokens on Pulse Chain. So you can basically get the token metadata, the prices, the balances, approvals, transfers, etc. So if you're building any kind of applications, be it a marketplace or a DEX or anything, you have all the data uh, available through our Morales APIs, which you can directly use to build your applications and speed up your time to market. So I'm going to show you all of these APIs and I'm also going to show you how you could essentially create a Pulse Chain node in order to get started building. But before that, if you want to see all of the APIs in action, you can just visit morales.com, which is a crypto terminal powered by Morales APIs. And as you see right here, you have all the chains right here and we have Pulse over here. And once you click on Pulse, you can see all of the tokens which are there on Pulse along with the data about the price, the FTV, coinage, the buy pressure, all of the data you need in order to get started. So if you want to click on any particular token, I'm just going to click on bear. You can see right here that we have data on the price, the liquidity, FDV. You can see all of the token pairs which are available. You can also see these candlestick charts. So I'm going to show you all the APIs which are powering up this, which means you can see the uh, price API, the token metadata API, the OHLCV API, and essentially how you could use the Morales uh, APIs in order to build any kind of platform or application of your choice. So to get started, let's first go over the wallet API. So I'm just going to click on this and this is going to take us to the main API reference page. So as you see right here, these are some APIs which are under the wallet API category. So you have the get wallet history, which is going to give you the complete wallet history along with the ERC20 tokens, the uh, trans transactions, etc. that the wallet has performed. Then you have the get wallet transactions, which is going to give you the list of all the native transactions by wallet. You can also get the ERC20 transfers. NFT transfers, etc. So to get started, let's just open up the Pulse Chain Explorer. So I have this open right here, and this is basically just showing us all of the uh, transactions happening on Pulse Chain. So I'm just going to see it right here. This was the transaction. Let's just refresh this, and you can basically see we have uh, all these transactions which just happened. So if you want to see this transaction, you can just click on this, and that's going to take you 
into more details about the transaction. And now that we have the transaction hash right here, I'm going to show you how you can retrieve all of this data about this particular transaction with just the hash. So once you copy the hash, you can head over to the get wallet transactions. Uh, so we need a wallet address, uh, if we want to retrieve all the transactions for, so I'm just going to go over to this particular wallet and I'm going to take this wallet address and let's try to see all of the transactions that this wallet has performed. So once you click on get wallet transactions, you can see it right here. You have all the data about the, uh, wallet transactions that basically are shown right here. This is an example response. And I'm going to show you how you can essentially use this to get data about this particular account address on Pulse Chain. So to test this out, you can just paste your API key right here from uh, Morales. And once you've pasted it here, you will be able to see your uh, sample code snippets generated on the right. And if you want to copy this wallet address, you can just do that and paste it over here as well. And let's set the chain to Pulse. So this basically makes it point to Pulse mainnet. And now we can hit test live API. And this is going to give us all of the transactions that were performed by this particular wallet address. So there you go. So you can basically see you have the transaction hash, you have the nonce, the transaction index, the from address, which is basically the same address that we just uh, copied along with the data about the input in case it's a smart contract transaction, etc. You have the input field, which is populated. Then you have the block number, the timestamp, all of that. So you can directly use this whenever you're building any kind of wallet portfolio applications, etc. because you want to show all the transactions by the wallet, you'll be able to directly use this particular API. So coming to get wallet history, get wallet history gives you the complete history for a specific wallet address, including the token send, receive, etc. So I'm going to try wallet history for this particular token. So let's just put in this address here and let's set the chain to pulse. And let's hit test live API. There you go. So you can basically see all the transactions that were performed and you also get like this super cool summary for every uh, transaction. So this particular transaction was just to sign a particular message. And then you can basically see if there's any other interactions, you can see all of that available right here, along with the from address entity, the from address logo, the transaction fee method label, all of that. So this is about wallet history. So the next API that we're going to cover is basically the token API. So I'm going to head over to the uh, token API and I'm going to show you what kind of data you can retrieve. So if you want to retrieve all the token balances, you have the get token balances endpoint, which is going to let you retrieve the ERC 20 token balances by wallet. So if you click on this, you can get the uh, token balances for a specific wallet address. And if you see right here, this uh, particular wallet doesn't have any tokens. So let's head over to tokens here and let's try to find some wallet address that has a lot of tokens. So I'm just going to click on this particular one tether and I'm going to look at the transactions which just happened. So let's take uh, this particular transaction and let's look at the uh, two field. So you can see that this particular wallet now has around, uh, 77, uh, I believe. Okay. This has 10,000 pulse tokens and token transfers. You can see right here for this particular wallet address. So let's try a different wallet. So I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to take this wallet. You can see now that it has two tokens. So let's try getting the data for this particular, uh, wallet address. Just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here and let's set the chain to pulse and we should be able to test live API. There you go. So now we basically get all of the tokens which are present on uh, this particular wallet address. And as you can see right here, our API basically gives you all of the tokens and it's showing us more tokens than, okay, we have all these three tokens right here. So these are the three tokens which are present by, uh, in this particular account address. And as you see right here, it has the pine token, has the stable LP, you have the P die token as well. So that's essentially how you could use the ERC20 token balance API, not to get the uh, token balances for a particular wallet on pulse. So if you want to try retrieving the token swaps,
for a particular token you can just head over to get token swaps and you can see right here we have swaps by pair address swaps by token and swaps by wallet so i'm going to start by swaps by pair address so let's head over to the to moralis.com and let's try to retrieve these swaps so i'm just going to copy the uh, pair address which we see right here so i'm just going to copy it right here so that we copy it for the pair with the highest liquidity which is on pulse x so now that i've copied the pair address i should be able to retrieve the uh, swap data for this particular pair so let's put in the pair address right here and let's set the chain to pulse and there we go so now if we hit s live api this is going to give you all of the swaps which were uh, performed for the particular token that we are querying so our token is the bear token and as you see right here these were the swaps and you can see the exchange name which is pulse x and you can see the base token code token so somebody basically swapped uh the uh base token which is basically bear for uh back into the pulse token that is what you see right here for this particular transaction and you can basically get all of this data for all of the uh for any pair address you want you can also retrieve swaps by the token so if you just put in the token address of bear you're going to get the swap data for all of the uh across all of the pairs so i'm just going to put this in and show you how you could retrieve that so i've put in the token address now and if we set the chain to pulse we should be able to get the uh, data for basically the bear token so there you go you can basically see this was a particular it was a buy transaction and you can see somebody basically bought pulse now in the pulse x exchange you can also see the pair label the pair address you also get details about the subcategory so if the wallet is an initial buyer or whether the wallet is accumulating more of these tokens you can see all of that right here which makes it super easy for you to uh, display in any front end or any application that you are integrating the swaps api into so that's on the token swaps api uh token prices lets you get erc20 token price which means that you can retrieve the token price for the bear token or if you are interested in building the ohlcv price chart you could directly use the ohlcv by pair address api and this is going to give you the price uh, data across the historical time frames so i'm going to show you how you could use the ohlcv api to get the real time data for pulse so for this particular token so i'm going to show you just copy this address and now let's put in the address right here let's set the chain as pulse and you can basically set time frame the from date to date to which you want to query it so i'm going to try querying it from uh, let's change this to 2025 01 and let's query it up till yesterday so now i'm going to query this particular tokens price data and uh, let's see why we're not able to get it so all right we have to put the pair address so i put in the token address so let's just copy the pair address again from here there we go and now we should be able to get all of the data so there you go so you basically get all of the data about uh, this particular token and as you see right here we get data about the timestamp the open high low volume trades so i've covered how you could essentially use this data and api and how you could integrate with like a trading view widget in order to build your own uh, chart so i'm going to leave uh, leave that as well in a link in the description so that you could check out how you could use the ohlcv api in order to build your own candlestick charts but of course if you want to directly use these charts in your uh, application or platform you could just embed the chart through this particular button and that's going to give you a direct chart embed that you could just paste and get the live uh, price data for this particular uh, teddy bear token so i'm also give, gonna leave, leave a link to that particular video where i cover how you could directly embed a price chart widget on your particular website so now that we have covered token prices uh we can look at get token transfers that's going to show you all of the erc20 token transfers by a wallet or by a contract so if you want to query this for this bear uh contract you could just put in the contract address right here for the token and let's set the chain to pulse and there you go so you're going to retrieve uh all of the erc20 token transfers 
and that's what we see right here you see all the transactions the from the to everything that you basically need right here so the some of the other apis that you could definitely check out are the price api blockchain api so within price we have the ohlcv that we just saw you also have just the erc20 token price which means if you just want to get the uh, price of the bear token you could just use this uh, particular api set the chain to pulse and you should be able to retrieve the price data for this particular token so that's what we see right here along with data about the exchange the exchange address all of that so uh, now i'm going to show you how you could essentially use the blockchain api in order to retrieve data about the blocks or transactions for any transaction on pulse chain so within get transactions you have get transaction by hash or you have get native transactions by wallet etc so if you want to just try retrieving a particular transaction by its hash you can just open this particular uh, explorer and i'm just clicking on any random transaction and with this transaction hash we will be able to get all of the data on pulse chain uh, for this particular transaction hash so let's look up this transaction and as you see right here you have the from address to address the value the gas all of that that you basically need and you can see if there's any logs also you can find it in this logs and you can see the transaction fee that was paid in order to get this transaction through so that's on the blockchain api so that's essentially how you could integrate the uh morales apis for getting any kinds of data on pulse and if you want to check out how you could get your own uh, uh, pulse chain rpc node not to forward transaction to etc you can just head over back here and click on nodes so once you've clicked on nodes you'll be able to see all the nodes you've created so i'm going to click on create a new node i'm going to select the protocol as pulse and select mainnet so now you can see you get information and now let's create the node so once we have created the node you can see right here that i have the node created and i had already created a node before that's why you see there are two nodes here and you have the site one and site two urls which you can directly use for uh, building or any kind of application within your wallet to forward transaction to this particular node so that's essentially how you could use the morales apis and uh, particularly the wallet the token the price blockchain etc in order to build your applications on top of pulse chain and how you could use the rpc node uh, that you've just created you can basically head over to the rpc nodes in docs and you'll be able to see what are all the rpc methods which are supported so if you want to try out any of the rpc methods on pulse chain you can just head over to the evm rpc api and you can just click on any particular api let's say get block number we just have to set the chain to pulse and put in the api key so i'm just going to put in the node key from here so within pulse you can see right here we have the node key for this which is this one and i'm going to put the key right here and if we hit test live api now we should be able to get the latest block number on pulse so that's what we've received so that's essentially how you could use the rpc nodes on top of pulse chain in order to get any kind of rpc data you need if you want to forward transactions etc you could configure your metamask or any other wallet with uh, the pulse chain rpc url and that's how easy it is for you to get started building on pulse chain so if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for further videos thank you